Hey guys, Ben Vic here, back with another review. Today we are looking at this, the Taro Nano Kit from Vapresso. Uh, this one is uh, the Nano Mod, the smallest uh, Taro offering, and it comes with the Veco Tank. The Veco Tank features the EUC coils that we've seen in previous tanks of theirs, such as the S-TOC and things like that. Uh, the EUC coils claim to fame is that they're incredibly small, they're incredibly uh, narrow, tiny things, tiny, tiny things, which allow, you know, uh, a lot more capacity in a much more shrunk down tank. Uh, they're also very affordable and uh, in a range of options. Uh, inside this pack, uh, you get a traditional uh, canthal and cotton one, and uh, you also get uh, another one as well that has a Clapton in. So, interesting times, interesting times. Um, so that is the Veco uh, top fill, uh, adjustable airflow from the top, all that good stuff. But look at this, look at the mod, another very unique, crazy design. And the mod actually matches uh, the tank as well. Um, four, I think there's four designs of this as well, I'll show you on the screen now. Um, but that is the, yeah, the Taro Nano designs, uh, very interesting indeed. The mod itself, 80 watts, uh, tiny regulated thing, built-in battery. Um, that you cannot get to, you cannot access, uh, you charge using the micro USB. 2500 ma, they're saying uh, this battery is. Um, and it, yeah, it has uh, this board, the same as the mini, which we just reviewed. Uh, so yeah, that is that. Um, all that good stuff. Let's go down low so you can see this up close. Then when we come back up top, it'll all make a bit more sense. See you in a second. All right, guys, here we are down low with the Taro Nano starter kit, small, big. Uh, and you can see I've got the uh, crazy colored one. Uh, here we go, opening her up like this, put that to one side, and uh, it opens up like that. Under here, you've got your uh, you've got coils and all that good stuff. You've got a lovely charge cable in there and a manual like that. Uh, under this one you have your tank and your mod and a coil head. Now this coil head we've seen before uh, in the uh, S-TOC from Vapresso. It's the EUC coil. Uh, and as you can see, this one is the one with a little bit of a Clapton going on in there. But uh, it effectively incredibly small. Um, if I compared that to a, a modern day coil head, look at the size difference you know and it vapes great it vapes great even though it's so small uh, so very clever design indeed uh, so that's that's the coils that are in here uh, we'll get the mod and the tank out and have a slightly uh, slightly more thorough look okay so this is the Veco tank from Vapresso uh, look at that look at that I've got it in this uh, psychedelic uh, metal finish going on but uh, yeah it's got a normal sort of drip tip uh, it does come out like that <laughs> uh, I've got the uh, airflow adjustment here right at the top there you can turn that around to uh, make it smaller or bigger like that that's that's reduced and uh, tricky to get your hands on actually but there you go and uh, back together and it's the same on both sides and it goes down and uh, back up again uh, so if we twist, oh, I'll show you the 510 pin, very, very narrow, I wouldn't recommend this on your hybrid mechs and all that sort of stuff. Uh, if we turn at the top here, we have top fill, like that, just stick your 2mm of juice in there, like that, and uh, if we turn it completely upside down, this is where, uh, this is where you go to get at the actual coil and it just pulls out of there. It's kind of like a press fit thing, there's no screw aspect to it, uh, but when it's all together it works fine. So that's uh, that, that's that. If uh, we take a peek at this, this is the um, Taro Nano from Vapresso, built-in battery. Um, what that probably means is it's got an 18500 or something like that in there, or an 18650 in there, built in, but it's all tied up, all screwed up, so you can't get access to it, uh, but it's not a LiPo as previously advertised. Um, micro USB there, 510 pin, let's take a peek at this. So, for my money, 
Oh, it's very springy. I can't tell whether it's uh, spring-loaded or just mounted on a big O-ring, but um, it's very springy, and everything I've put on here goes down flush. So there you go. Um, then you have got your fire button, you've got your up and your down buttons, and your menu button, which I'll show you in a second, and you've got some venting down here too. Uh, check out this crazy style. Let's put uh, let's put the tank on. Like that, and there we go. Look at that crazy looking thing! Crazy, crazy looking thing, crazy patterning. Um, but yeah, very nice indeed. And I love that, I love that the tank actually matches the mod. Often they don't. Uh, a black tank would look all right on here as well because it's got this black finishing on the sides. Uh, so now we've got the thing on one, two, three, four, five, the presso. And here is your thing. So a very traditional screen. You've got your battery, you've got your ohms, voltage, wattage, and uh, what mode you're in. I'm in standard mode. Uh, if we press the menu button, this is how you flick through your options. Uh, it doesn't need a navigation, this, uh, this, this board, because of that button. You've got your TCR, you've got all your TC settings, bypass. Uh, there's your system options there and your background is standard um, so it alleviates the need for a real menu having that fourth button which is quite natty indeed uh, temperature control as we'll go through up top is always excellent on these uh, Vapresso items uh, but we'll talk about all that stuff when we go up top which is right now okay guys that was the Taro Nano up close uh, a very interesting kit, a very good kit. The Taro range is very popular. Range, very popular line of mods. Um, you know, so nice to see some follow-up devices from them. We reviewed the Mini. Go back and check that out if you wish. And uh, this is the Nano. So, positives and negatives of this. I only have uh, a couple of negatives. Um, uh, there are more things to consider, not things that have really bothered me. Uh, Built-in battery, some people will like that, some people will not. Obviously, if you're wanting the ability to use an 18650, remove it, charge it and all that, check out the uh, Taro Mini that we've already covered. Um, so built-in battery, that is a thing. Uh, I criticised the screen on the Mini for being a bit outdated, a bit backward. Maybe that was a bit harsh. Um, but uh, yeah, it is a very traditional screen. There are some really fancy ones coming out now. Uh, so there's that. Uh, 22 millimeter atomizers only. Anything bigger than that would overhang and look crazy. Uh, so that's a thing as well. Um, the tank, the tank, uh, it's a fairly solid. It's a fairly solid banger. Uh, 30, 33 watts. You know, it's that. It's that sub 40 watt sort of tank. And it does a job, and it does it quite nicely. Uh, one thing, I don't know if you picked up there. A little bit of a whistle to it. It's a little bit of a whine to it. Uh, and I've been playing with it and adjusting it. Can't seem to get quite get that uh, right. But it's got top fill. Uh, and the actual coils, flavour's good. And they vape very nice. I much prefer the traditional, uh, the Canthel and Cotton ones, to uh, the others. You know, the ones with... Uh, you know, the ones with the, the Clapton's in, I haven't really got on with them at all. Um, but yeah, the flavour's pretty solid. Uh, if you go over 40 watts, it's not going to keep up wicking wise, in my opinion. Uh, but sub 40, it's been a very solid, nice tank that I'm sure you'll enjoy vaping on, you know, while you've got the coil heads. Coil heads are readily available, very widely available, and very, very cheap. Uh, and a very clever design, being so small as well. Uh, so, not a bad tank at all. Uh, very much like the S-Stock, you know, if anyone else had a go on one of those. Um, so that's that, you know, the tank's got all that stuff. Uh, those are all these sort of tiny negative sort of things. Uh, positives, uh, the board in these, the board in the Mini, the board in the Nano is superb. Power output is on point. TC is very, very good, very accurate indeed. Been messing around with the iSub, with the nickel coils in here, and it's been absolutely fine. Battery life, I've been impressed with the battery life, genuinely impressed. Now, if you are trying to use this over 45, 50 plus watts, the battery life is going to be poor, very poor indeed. 
but it's really not for that. Look at the size of it, it's tiny. It's really not for that. If you use it sub 40, it's uh, it's very good actually, very good indeed. Uh, so really pleased with the battery life. And it charges nice and quick as well. I think it's a one amp charge in there. Uh, so that's very good too. Um, so battery life has been good. Uh, the ergonomics of this little one is really nice in the hand, you know, a little fire button there. Uh, really nice, really nice feel and use to it. The finish is really, really good. Uh, I've not had any issues with like chipping, scratching. I've been quite brutal with this, you know, out and about. And, you know, I genuinely haven't had any knocks or anything like that. Uh, the design, the pattern is going to be incredibly subjective. Remember, there are four other, three other designs to choose from. So I'm sure there might be one in your style. Uh, so check those out. But yeah, the board is terrific. Does all the TC, TCR, all that stuff, and it does it very, very well. Very good board indeed. Uh, no issues with the 510. I don't think it's properly spring loaded. I think it's mounted, uh, and it's really soft O rings are, are what's uh, giving you that adjustment. Uh, but the tanks that I've tried, the tanks that are suitable for this mod, that I'd recommend with this mod, they've all gone down to the bottom and been nice and flush, no problems. Um, obviously, the style of this is subjective you know the style of the atomizer being in the middle it's very unique to the tarot line um, that's going to be your personal preference of course uh, but yeah that's the thing overall how do i feel about this I i've got to say as well the menu button i like the menu button i think that's actually really handy uh, i like not having to remember all the button combinations um, <laughs> that you know that all these different mods have. I like that you just can't forget that that's the button that changes the functions. One thing I forgot to show you is if you press plus and minus, it flips the screen orientation. Uh, so that's an option for that as well. What is my final verdict on these? I think existing lovers of the tarot line. Uh, from Bray Presso will adore these. I think they'll be absolutely perfect. As far as uh, the budget mod scene and your other bod budget mods that are available, it's as good as any of these small, regulated, pocket-friendly mods. It's easily, it's definitely as good as those. In terms of the board, it's probably better than most. It's probably better than most of those uh, regulated small mods. Um, I'm impressed with it. I'm enjoying it. Um, the design of the thing is very subjective. That will come down to you. Let me know your thoughts on this uh, whole kit in the in the comments. Um, very solid, very cool, but obviously the choice comes down to you. It's a very competitive marketplace. Uh, I'm Ben Vic. I'll see you again soon.